Hey guys, this is Video Epo, and in this video, I will be sharing my views on this wonderful piece of equipment that I've got. It's actually a four feet uh, mini jib arm, also known as a studio jib or a portable jib. So the first things first. Let me talk to you about the price range. I got this for about five thousand five hundred Indian rupees, which should be working to you under a hundred dollar uh, price tag. Now this is a good buy for a five thousand five hundred Indian rupees. And let me tell you that uh, uh, there are a lot of people who are trying to build this on a DIY basis. And uh, if you calculate the kind of money that would go into buying the rods, the washers, the bolts, uh, the, the money that would you take to make the clamps that is required and the counterweights etc would definitely cost you some somewhere around 3000 rupees and i think it's a good buy for about 5500 and you also get a very professional device that you can carry along it's very portable and i think it should suit your purpose so it's your choice to make a difference between uh, making it by yourself on a diy basis or uh, having to buy something like this Now let me tell you that uh, this is not a sponsored video. I just bought this piece of gear and I really wanted to share my views on, on this because I believe that there are a lot of other people who are uh, making their plans to either make this or to buy this and I think this video should be helpful for them. Uh, another thing is that uh, when I got this particular device, I, 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 I actually got this device from uh, flyfilms.in uh, and if you want to buy a similar product, you can actually go into the description box and click the link below and you will find all those things there. I am a little too impatient to make uh, the video on unboxing but let me tell you that I found this in a wonderful little uh, box and it was packed nicely and the one thing that I did not find was the manual to, to put this thing together. But it is not a rocket science let me tell you, you just have to put in a very small uh, parts. For example, this L clamp in here where the camera is getting seated, you just have to put in two bolts and this particular clamp on which your LCD uh, holder is going to get seated you just have to put this this handle which is actually going to help you in manual tilt you can do the manual tilt if you can remove this particular bolt and I'll talk to you uh, about this later and this particular rod on which you have to put your counterweights uh, this is just the uh, packing and the time that it would take to fit this thing together Now let me talk to you about the accessories that you can get along with this particular 4 feet portable jib. This particular model does not come along with any particular accessories. You do not even get the counter weights. You will have to buy the weights by yourself. It does not include the tripod or the jig that I have mounted in here. And there is a little bit of a, a drawback on those things because uh, when I inquired upon to get a tripod just for this particular jib, the tripod was double the cost of the jib itself. So I had to find a solution and I actually have mounted it on a light stand. I have tried to mount this on a light stand, the basic light stand, but it was a little too flimsy and it was not able to support the weight of the jib, the camera and the counterweights. So I had to get a bigger light stand. But when you fix this on a light stand, the drawback of the entire unit is that if the bolt is fixed onto the light stand, you only get the tilt movement you only get the tilt movement you do not get the pan movement so in order to get the pan movement I have made this homemade jig here which is actually helping me to pan the arm and I'll show you how to make this jig it's quite easy and to make this jig and the stand together I mean to make this jig I spend around 500 rupees and to get this stand I spend around another 1500 rupees and this whole unit is around 2000 rupees Now let me tell you certain drawbacks of this particular device because uh, I think these things uh, could have been done better, this could have been weighed better. Uh, the thing is when you want to do a manual tilt as in you want to tilt only the camera, you will have to remove this particular bolt from here. It's very easy to remove the bolt but to put it back again is little painful and I find that the bolt that they actually have given has got a nut head, some sort of nut head. Uh, I'll show it to you in close up. The thing is, they have not provided me with the spanner to operate those things because your normal spanners don't fit in there. And you can see that this is pretty loose, I'm not able to fit it properly. And this particular jib is not provided with the bag. So you will have to check in your accessories list 
okay speak to the seller if they are actually going to provide a bag and i think a bag for this particular thing is a very important one and if you look at this uh, like i told you earlier the stand for this particular jeep is too expensive if you are not uh, skilled enough to make or do not want to make this kind of things by your own and if you want to buy the stand it's better you buy an unit along with the stand so please check on to the description as to which kind of product you actually want to buy and the most important thing that i actually find is that if you look at the so if you look at the uh, counterweight mechanism here it's not quite adjustable i've seen models of uh, four feet jibs where they, you can actually move the weight back and forth as in if you want to make some minor adjustments you can simply slide the weight behind or forward so that the entire thing stays balanced for this case you will have to do with just the weights you'll have to balance the entire thing just with the weights i think the this place is too little small for this particular jig so maybe i should be able to make another jig where i am able to adjust the weight of the uh, or, or the or the counter weights in such a way that i am able to slide it and uh, make minor adjustments otherwise you will have to do all of the adjustments uh, through in here and one important thing that i actually note in this is that most of these bolts they just join together i mean there is no uh, what do you say uh, a ball bearing i mean i've seen models in which there are having ball bearings in here and it gives them the much smoother uh, movement but this doesn't doesn't does not have a ball bearing in between these two joints and i don't know why so if this small little uh, minor things are added onto this particular device and i think it's going to be a really wonderful piece of equipment and as a whole uh, when you consider the kind of money that you are going to spend for the product i think it's good Great. Great. Great.